I heard now. I picked up the phone, my little weapon here of truth and love and clarification and guiding. And I am speaking. Remember, my people, I was in council with my Heavenly Father, the best place to be. Now, I heard pointed at the TV, but my instruction was remember who you were taken into the air with. So the devil has come down, so to speak, filled with great wrath. So you can expect and I caution you to fashion your marital decisions around the factors and conditions that you'll be dealing with and you are dealing with. With great wrath, you can expect it to get more angrier as far as the people around you and that may impact your thoughts. We are in training. Step one, do not turn against your kingdom spouse. As many, because Jesus meets you where you're at, seem to be living this life of half in the world, half in convenient Christianity, I caution you, be not conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind is one way to go. Rather, I tell you the truth. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and my righteousness, my righteousness, my righteousness, and all these things will be added. Then they removed the burnt offerings to distribute them to the sections of the father's households of the lay people to offer to the Lord, as it is written in the book of Moses. They did the same with the bulls. So they roasted the Passover lambs on the fire according to the ordinance, and they cooked the holy offerings in pots in kettles and in pans, and quickly brought them to all the lay people. Afterward, the Levites, This is what we are preparing for. So as I can hear two directions, then that tells me right away what I'm dealing with in my wife. So coming like a thief, being awake, staying spiritually ready. And when I exit the world, there are always consequences for that as far as what happens So being a master of love, ahava love, eros love, agape love, I have dwelt among you, I am in your household. and seen the issues in your marriage. And in my prayer time, what I determined was you need to believe, first of all, you need to believe in the love your spouse has for you. Don't let the devil twist things. You need to be taking your thoughts captive and remember what I'm telling you as I'm walking you through this. You should be nurturing your spouse. What we just read here is some of you prodigals were trusted to take care of your spouse with funds and blessings, and you need to be cognizant of your role in your marriage.
<clears throat> Let me switch roles for a second. From mere participant to Now in the New Jerusalem, I'm shying away from outdated preaching. Remember you were taken into the air with me. So as your king, what I'm really focused on right now is of course kingdom marriages. And then the things I've told you to do for three years. Now, normally you guys are spirit led, so you know what you're doing. in your kingdom marriage is going to be me 100% so that you are not confused. I'm using different sources to communicate since people are, as I described previously in my opening statements, lukewarm. So the kingdom spouse is always going to be in communion with me, while the prodigal is probably going to have some type of stumbling, but attempting to walk with me. So the kingdom spouse, you're going to be raising up your prodigal before they fall. Remembering your prodigal was under the influence of the devil. Perfect. 